you know some spirit billy d loves smoking that sticky icky with your brother be careful my friend this stuff is very strong and it can last in your system up to four hours and that is a long time for a bad trip no worries billy d got it Oh, smooth like Colt 45. Ooh, what's that? Oh, me, oh, my. Mmm, Billy D like what he see. You know, I used to date a Twi'lek, the same exact skin tone. Baby, you ever been to a galaxy far, far away? Billy, that's my bird. Oh, oh, Billy D has got the trips baby Ooh, ooh! don't worry billy d i got the medicine to make you feel all better uh you know what billy d feels like he's cured already oh no you gonna give me that d billy oh man bad trip bad trip cold red cold red billy d down i repeat billy d down can't say I didn't warn him. Oh well, on to the review. So, I had no intention of buying this figure. I really had no interest in this figure. I never, never had interest in him from the TV show, from the comic books. Just never had any interest in him. I was like, meh, whatever. Maybe on sale. And the reviews started coming out from other channels and they were saying what an amazing figure this was what an amazing figure this was and i was like meh i don't care not not that i don't need it and then a sale happened and i picked this guy up and said yeah whatever i'll try him out i'll try him out and crap i was wrong <laughs> oh man i was so wrong <laughs> this dude is hot fire oh my god yo i can honestly say this might be this could arguably be one of the best classified figures ever made it's it's an argument i can make and i'm gonna do this review and show you why i might be able to win that argument because this dude is straight fire so let's discuss G.I. Joe Classified number 36, Spirit, Iron Knife, and Freedom. Before we continue, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's start the show. So let's start out with the box art. It, uh, yeah, it's actually really good. It doesn't bother me not one bit, unlike uh, <clears throat> Kamakura. And um, yeah, it it reflects the character well it tells a story it tells the story of the character very well and it's, it's quite nice but what's really nice is that it's full of stuff how hard is that just to fill the box full of stuff and this was at $22.99 oh man if only they could do this at $24 or $25 or whatever the hell they are now would classify it <laughs> if we could get boxes full of stuff you know i i don't think people would be as mad over a couple of dollar price bump especially if it's a bunch of stuff that's relevant to the character and boy oh boy is he coming a decent amount of accessories first off he has a sniper rifle which you know was cast in black and has a little bit of brown paint in there to uh give it a little bit of pop he has a basic black uh handgun he has a basic black knife and he has a another knife cast in silver that has some engraving in it some detailing that just once again makes it pop his backpack is okay i guess but his backpack serves like multiple purposes with this set so it can store the sniper rifle but it also is uh storage for this guy freedom oh man once again they know how to make some pets <laughs> gi joe classified i think they know they, they know how to make pets better than uh mattel at this point 
you know those Barbie pets got a lot of stuff going on for them but these pets woo, man your boy your boy freedom got some love man like he's almost fully posable his wings pose his neck poses his head poses his uh, legs pose individually he has uh, articulated feet <laughs> like this dude this dude is dope like yeah this, this is this is a great 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 accessory he's not you know like this is what i expected from the herald of galactus thor that came out with the controller set i i expected those crow one crow give me one crow disposable not two crows that are just like blah i think that would have made that set pop even more than it already does but this is what makes this do pop and on top of that interchangeable wings oh so he has flying wings so spread out flying wings and he has just kind of like oh i'm chilling i'm cooling out i got my life together <laughs> like <laughs> You know, weekend barbecue wings that are just like pulled in. I this is this is dope. Like it, this is really this is this is amazing. This is an amazing set so far. Now on to the main event himself, Mr. Spirit Iron Knife himself. Oh we man, they did a really good job on this. Even though it's basically two levels of plain plastic, plain blue plastic and uh, plain brown plastic for his pants they uh, at least tried with his arms his arms have the uh, arms are cast ab above the bicep are cast in blue plastic and they tried to paint it to match the skin tone and they didn't do a great job on that I gotta say like the the, the this they didn't match the skin tone at all he kind of looks like he had a farmer's tan mixed in with a really bad case of eczema <laughs> Like, but other than that, I mean, it's it's really well done for what they were trying to do. Now, since they weren't trying to match the skin tone on his uh, upper chest where his shirt opens, they just painted it red to make it an undershirt. But they were pretty conservative with where the paint that they chose to use. So his belt buckle gets a little bit of paint. He has the emblem on the side of his arm that gets him... That gives him a little bit of paint emblem on his right side of his arm gives him a little bit of paint the buttons aren't really painted at all no they're really not painted at all the uh buckle the other buckles on his belt where his uh where his utilities would be they're not uh painted at all so i mean other than his wrists that get a little bit of paint gold paint around them there's not much paint to speak of really on this figure but what they didn't cheap out on was his posing and yeah let's be honest here this is the reason why we buy these figures yeah the details are great the 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 paint on some in some cases is really good but the posing is great i mean because he doesn't have his hair all the way flowing back he can look up very far he can look down very far he can hit that t pose he can he has the bicep swivel he has the double jointed elbows he has the wrist swivel on those on his left hand and a hinge in his right hand along with the swivel drop down hips he has the upper leg twist he has your double jointed knees boot cut and ankle pivots i mean honestly this guy actually is really cut very well in his butterfly joint because he can get in some straight up ninja poses <laughs> like, like i enjoyed posing the heck out of this guy like it the, the butterfly on this guy is actually pretty generous compared to a lot of other figures in the line. Now for size comparisons, here he is with my previous review, the Cobra Officer and uh, Tomax and Zaymont. Here he is with Barbecue and Beachhead. And for a little size comparison with the big boys, here he is with Sergeant Slaughter and uh, Roadblock. So yeah, overall, this is a fantastic set. This is a fun set. Easily one of my favorite G.I. Joe classified figures. Easily one of my favorite G.I. Joe classified sets. If you're cheap like me, you probably just got this guy. If you're not cheap and you already have him, yo, yo, you were right. <laughs> this thing is this thing is absolutely fantastic. I love this figure. Love, 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 love this figure. Love, love, love this set. I I can't recommend this one enough. But yeah, with that. Make sure you hit the community tab. That's where I post any pre-orders, any deals on figs like this and any other restocks that I come across. And I'll leave a link to that in the description. 
Also in the description, I'll leave my Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome. All you have to do if you need to buy anything from Amazon is click on the link and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you buy. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's a great way to support the channel. And yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And this is the Drunken Prime, cracking open another beer and signing off.